Hello ladies, it's Melissa. I'm here with my 33 week update. I'm 33 weeks pregnant today. It's Thursday, October 6th. Um, everything's going great. Um, I am having some more symptoms lately. Uh, it just feels like he's getting pretty big and um, not complaining, but I guess I'm starting to feel a little bit of the like, discomfort, like my stomach's starting to feel heavy and um, my lower back and hip on the right side are bothering me. Like when I go to get into my car, I put my leg in and then when I go to, there's like a whole bunch of birds outside my window here. Okay, now they're gone. <laughs> um, what was I saying? When I go to sit in my car, it it just hurts. It feels like someone's like stabbing me in the lower back. So that's not too nice. Um, other than that, I guess I've been feeling pretty good. I have been really tired lately, uh, just like this week. And maybe it's just because I'm 33 weeks and I know you can get tired again in the third trimester. So I'm just trying to get more sleep and you know, eat healthy and all that good stuff. So, uh, my cerclage comes out two weeks from Monday, so I'm excited about that. And I'm a little nervous, but she said it's a really quick thing. She just um, goes in there and has to find the cerclage, find the actual stitch and pull it up and then just cut it and pull it out. So, it's not like this big thing where I have to get an epidural again and, um, Yeah, and I don't have to, it's not the same kind of preparation, like, last time I had to wash with this special soap and everything, because it was like a pre-surgical thing, and um, this time, I don't have to do that. So, wow, I feel like I'm, like, all over the place rambling, so if I am, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, I think I'm going to make all of my videos public again, but... I'm going to go through my subscribers and get rid of anybody who seems sketchy and then whoever subscribes to me from now forward, I'll just have to check them out. Um, because I've gotten a lot of really nice comments and private messages from people who said that um, it helped them to watch my videos. Uh, some people who had lost babies before. <clears throat> due to incompetent cervix and we're looking forward to trying again and getting a cerclage and you know my the success of my pregnancy and my cerclage this time is giving them hope so I'm gonna make them public again and just hope that the freak shows stay away so we had um, the usual Tuesday appointment they're not checking the cerclage anymore but what they are doing is checking the baby and doing non-stress tests. So the non-stress tests again went perfectly this week. Um, I'll just show you a couple quick little pictures. This is um, that's a 2D one. It's his profile. I mean not his profile. It's his little face. You can kind of see that. Um, there's a couple more like that and then we do have a cute little 3D one where he's just just his little face snuggled little chubby cheeks <laughs> so um, he's still breech I don't think this kid is gonna move but I'm hoping that he does he's been in the same position like forever and I know he's not moving into different positions because I feel him like I, his head is in the same spot I can just tell because it's a big hard bump and then he kicks in the same kind of places every once in a while I can tell he's moving his legs around um, when we got the ultrasound on Tuesday one leg is up in front of his face with the foot you know up here and the other leg is like bent at the knee in front of him so his foot is like down by his butt so he's kind of like doing some kind of weird you know splits thing and but I think he's uh, bending his legs and unbending them because I feel kicks high and low on both sides. But his head seems to stay in the same spot. 
So John's been talking to my belly and telling him that he needs to move and um, it's not working yet, but <laughs> hopefully he'll, he'll listen before too long. Because if he doesn't, um, at 36 weeks they'll schedule this uh, C-section um, for 39 weeks. So I know there are ways to turn the baby. There's a You can turn them externally or you can actually deliver the baby's breech, but I'm, I feel safer having a C-section. I, I don't, I don't like the risks involved with either, um, trying to deliver him breech or trying to turn him from the outside. So I, as much as I do not want a C-section, I'm not excited about it, not looking forward to it, do not want it. Okay, let me be clear about that. But I feel like that's the best option if he doesn't move. So we're getting close, 33 weeks. So he'll be here next month unless he decides to stay in there and be really late and come in the very beginning of December. But December 1st would be 41 weeks, and they wouldn't let me go any farther than that. So, um, that's my dad's birthday. December 3rd is my birthday, so <clears throat> um, it's a good time of year to be born. <laughs> my husband's birthday is November 11th, so we're hoping maybe he comes a little early. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. Oh, we went to a breastfeeding class on Tuesday night, and that was really good. Um, got some information that I didn't have before, and I got some uh, stuff to read, so... I gotta go through all that, but I was excited to hear that uh, breastfeeding actually burns a lot of calories, so you lose weight faster. Um, not to mention all the wonderful benefits it has for both mother and baby. So I'm really, really hoping that I'm able to breastfeed him, that we don't have any problems, uh, that I don't have any problems with, you know, supply or anything like that. So. Um, Looking forward to that, and I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Everything's kind of just the same, and I'm kind of getting impatient. Can't wait for him to be here. I just want to see his little face, and um, so I have at least six more weeks to wait, and at most eight more weeks. I don't like the sound of that though. I like six or seven weeks sounds better. Um, I don't know if I said this, but the ladies at my church said that they uh, want to throw me another baby shower. So on October 29th, we're going to have a another baby shower. John won't be there at this one. Only I'll be there. Um, but my mom's going to come with me and I'm hoping that we get all the rest of the stuff that we need. I mean, we still need like some burp cloths and um, some bibs and just a, a few odds and ends sheets. We don't have any bedding for the bed. I was going to get a bedding set, but I am not going to use a comforter. I'm not going to use bumpers and I just don't see the point in spending crazy money or asking someone else to spend crazy money on a bedding set because I think it's a ripoff. <laughs> you can get bedding sets for, you know, a king size bed with all of the pieces for cheaper than some of these crib bedding sets and it's just I don't know we're just gonna get sheets and uh, some matching curtains for now and later on when he's big enough that we don't worry about him um, suffocating or you know getting stuck or anything then maybe we'll put some other stuff in the crib but for now I'll just make sure he's all bundled up and warm and he'll sleep on a sheet um, that's it. I'm not going to keep talking. Um, I'll do a quick belly shot and then I will just do another update next week. So it's not going to, I don't know how big it'll look this week, but so this is 33 weeks from the front. It's from the side. This is starting to poke out there. And from the side.
pull it in, you can see. Yeah, I guess that's a good, pretty decent little baby bump. Um, this is where his head is over here. His head is here, and his little butt's here. So I get kicks over here, and I get kicks over here. But, um, yep, so that's little Vinny's home, growing, 33 weeks. Um, that's all. I hope everyone's well, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.